everyone, Lisa here. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel for another card video. So today I am going to be featuring a red rubber stamp from Some More Fun. This is the Victorine Originals line that they carry and this is Flower Pot with Birdhouse. We're also going to be using a stamp from their Borders and Plaid stamp set and we're going to use a sentiment of theirs also. So to get us started, I've laid some 80 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White Smooth Cover Stock Paper down on my stamping platform. I'm stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then we're going to carry this to the Scan and Cut, cut these images out, and do a little bit of coloring. Okay, so we're getting ready to start doing some coloring, and I'm gonna fast forward through this section. I'm going to tell you that I didn't do a lot of fussy coloring with this because the image is small, so I just kept it kind of simple. Uh, the colors that I used are all Copic markers, and they are E29, E27, E25 on the pot. For the dirt that's there, E49, E37, and E33. For the leaves, G85, G43, and G40. For the flowers, B17, B16, and B14 and V09, V05, and V01 are the colors that I used. Now when I went to color the flowers I just did that kind of dot 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 pattern and started with the dark and worked my way to the light colors. Um, the rest of it I kind of colored in as a little bit of variation. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some stamping using that Borders and Plaids stamp. I'm using Memento inks in Paris Dusk, Nautical Blue, Summer Sky, Bamboo Leaves, and Rich Cocoa. And I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping across the bottom of this piece of paper here. This is 80 pound Nina cardstock. And I'm going to start with the Rich Cocoa and I'm going to work my way up into the Bamboo Leaves, the Summer Sky, and then I'm actually going to stop with the Nautical Blue. So I, I kind of was like wanting a way to ground our stamped and colored image. So I thought this would be a fun way to do that. And we're kind of mimicking the colors of the earth with the brown for the soil, the green for the grass, and the blues for the sky. So here now you see I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment off to the left right above that um, nautical blue and I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. It's my favorite ink for sentiments. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to add some 3D mounting foam to the back of our stamped and colored image and then I'm also going to take a little tiny butterfly. Now the butterfly is actually part of the stamped image and when I ran it through the scanning cut it detected it as two separate images so it cut them separately but I figured, you know what, that's not a big deal. We can actually add two layers of 3D mounting foam and pop this little tiny butterfly up higher than the flower pot itself. So that's what I did. And you see how tiny that butterfly is. So two layers of 3D mounting foam on the back of the butterfly. Uh, adhere it to the card right above the flower pot. Then we're going to take a black pen any black pen will do and we're just going to draw some little dots between the butterfly and the flower pot. So now I'm just going to add some fun foam to the back of this card panel so we can adhere it to our card base. So we're going to add some sequins to finish off our card and we're using glossy accents to do that. I'm going to tell you guys I have two more cards over on the blog that I created using this same stamp. I hope you'll hop over there and check those out. I'll link it in the description below. So until the next time, take care. Know how much I appreciate you for watching and keep crafting.